What is going on people? It's Medicosis Perfectionatus where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our 5 minute review playlist. In previous videos we talked about post streptococcal glomerulonephritis and rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis. Today we will talk about IgA nephropathy or IgA disease or IgA vasculitis, also known as Berger disease. You will also find this video in my nephrology playlist. Be very careful of how the disease is spelled. Berger is not the same as Berger. The former is IgA nephropathy, the latter is thromboangiitis obliterans. Those are two different diseases. The difference is just one letter. As they say, medical textbooks are the only books that can kill you because of a typo. This is my 5 minute review playlist, please watch these videos in order, especially the ones about kidney disease. Normal kidney should not waste any protein or red blood cells in the urine. A kidney with nephrotic syndrome is wasting protein in the urine, we call this proteinuria. A kidney with nephritic syndrome, itis means inflammation, the kidney is literally bleeding into the urine, we call this hematuria. If the hematuria is invisible to the naked eye, we call it microscopic hematuria. If the hematuria is visible, it's called gross hematuria. Gross here means big, not disgusting. Does nephrotic syndrome cause edema? Of course, it's because of decreased protein in the blood. Why? Because you have increased protein in the urine. The edema of kidney disease usually has periorbital swelling, but the edema of cirrhosis and CHF usually does not. Nephrotic syndrome, you had four features, high protein in my urea, low protein in my emia, edema, and hyperlipidemia. Nephritic syndrome, itis, inflammation, you're basically bleeding into the urine. Hypertension, hematuria, jugular venous distension, oliguria mild edema proteinuria and some azotemia action. If you understand the lingo, you should never confuse nephritic with nephrotic. The name has the answer. Itis means inflammation. You're inflamed. Your glomeruli are bleeding. It's nephritic. Glomeruli are inflamed. You see blood in the urine with red blood cells and red blood cell casts and dysmorphic red blood cells. Dysmorphic red blood cells are usually coming from the glomeruli. Red blood cell casts are usually coming from the tubules. Both are kidney problems. Do not blame the bladder. Do not blame the ureter. Do not blame the urethra. Glomeruli are hypercellular and inflamed under the microscope. You can have anemia if the blood loss is severe. Limited proteinuria, less than 3.5 grams per day. Unlike nephrotic syndrome. You could have renal azotemia? Absolutely, this is acute renal failure. When the kidney is toast, it cannot secrete salt. You get salt and water retention, that's why you have hypertension, jugular venous distension, increased central venous pressure. Many nephritic syndromes have immune complex depositions. In case of IgA nephropathy, you have immune complex depositions in the mesangial cells of the glomeruli. Just because your urine is dark doesn't mean that it's blood. It could be just a pigment. Just because your urine is dark doesn't mean that it has red blood cells. It could be just myoglobin or hemoglobin. How can I tell? Microscope. The diagnosis is made when you have more than 6 red blood cells per high power field under light microscopy. Beware because vitamin C interferes with the test results. Dysmorphic red blood cells in the urine blame the kidney, specifically the glomerulus. Red blood cell casts blame the kidney, specifically the tubules. A better way to tell the difference between glomerular disease and tubular disease is the beta-2 microglobulin. I have a separate video about this topic. You can find it in my playlist called labs. Glomerulonephritis, inflammation of the glomeruli caused by immune complex deposition. If you remember post streptococcal glomerulonephritis, we had subepithelial deposition. But in IgA nephropathy, we have intramesangial immune complex deposition. IgA nephropathy is focal, which means some glomeruli are affected, some are not. You will also see hypercellularity under the microscope. Do you remember post streptococcal glomerulonephritis? Yeah. In many cases, we had upper respiratory tract infection followed by kidney disease, very similar to IgA nephropathy. You also have upper respiratory tract infection followed by blood in the urine. But there is a very big difference and that's the time frame. In either way, I have upper respiratory tract infection and then I have blood in the urine. But how long did I have to wait between the two instances? 
If you're talking about concurrent infection, which means I have pharyngitis and I have blood in the urine right now, this is IgA nephropathy. What if I had upper respiratory infection and then one to two days later I had kidney disease? That's also IgA nephropathy. But if it's one to three weeks later, that's post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. The way I remember it is to look at the word post, which means delayed. Oh yeah, this is weeks. The alternative complement pathway is activated and involved in cases of IgA nephropathy, very similar to post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Here is your alternative complement pathway. Pause and review. I have a separate video about the complement. When the kidney is losing protein in the urine, it's usually nephrotic. When the kidney is losing blood, it's nephritic. This is your kidney. If you have IgA nephropathy, there is usually IgA amion complex deposition in the mesangial cell. Meso means middle, in between. Angio, vessel. Oh, it's the cell between vessels. You see these afferent arterioles, afferent arterioles. It's between vessels. Let's review what we have discussed before. Minimal change disease, nephrotic, Hodgkin's, kids, focal segmental, usually nephrotic, proteinuria, heroin, HIV, parvo B19. Here is a comparison between the two. Pause and review. Membranous. Remember hepatitis B, hepatitis C, syphilis, malaria, etc. Remember the thrombosis, please. Diabetes, retinopathy, neuropathy, nephropathy. Speaking of nephropathy, it's diabetes 1 or 2 for a long time. You have capillary wall problems, thickening, hyaline arteriolosclerosis, the famous nodule, mesangial sclerosis, papillary necrosis, eventually kidney failure, ACE works like magic. Amyloid nephropathy is caused by amyloidosis, which is primary or secondary. You cannot treat it unless you treat the underlying cause. Don't forget your apple green. Diffuse proliferative nephrotic nephritic. Remember lupus, remember the wire looping. Membranoproliferative has two types. Type 1, subendothelia. Type 2, intra. Type 2 goes into the basement membrane. Type 1, hep B, hep C, cryoglobulinemia. Type 2, C3, nephritic factor. Post-streptococcal, delayed after one to three weeks after the pharyngitis. Don't forget the group A beta hemolytic strept, ASO, DNAs, treat with penicillin. What if the patient is allergic to penicillin? Give erythromycin. Now today's topic, IgA nephropathy. It's a multi-hit. Many things have to go wrong for you to develop IgA nephropathy. It's a nephritic syndrome for the most part. There is decreased galactosylation of IgA1, which causes accumulation of IgA. If I measure it in your serum, it will be so high. It's high in the serum, it's high everywhere. That's why it ends up depositing in the mesangium. IgA nephropathy is usually a kid bleeding from the alveoli, hemoptysis, bleeding from the glomeruli, hematuria, upper respiratory tract infection, usually concurrent or at least one to two days later. We call this what? Synpharyngitic macroscopic hematuria. Love it. I mean, I love the sentence. I hate the disease. Synpharyngitic because it happens at the same time as the pharyngitis and it's macroscopic hematuria. IgA nephropathy is the most common chronic glomerulonephritis in children. Symptoms, episodic attacks. Every time I have pharyngitis, I have blood in the urine in episodes, paroxysmal, hypertension, hematuria, fever, and proteinuria. Don't forget my periorbital puffiness. IgA is high. Serum complement. Now this is weird. Normal or elevated. And this is unlike many other nephritic and nephrotic diseases where you had hypocomplementemia because you consumed it. Immune complexes are made of IgA and anti-glycan antibodies. Light microscopy. Focal, not diffuse. Proliferative glomerulopathy. Electron microscopy, mesangial IgA, immune complex deposition. If you look at the urine, it has blood. If you look under the microscope, it has red blood cells, usually dysmorphic. Pay attention, IgA nephropathy is associated with henoch Shanlian purpura. I have a separate video about this topic, very important. Remember that in these patients, if you biopsy the purpura, what did you find? I found IgA in the skin. So, it's not unexpected to find IgA antibodies in their kidney. That's why they have blood in the urine. How do I treat? When doctors do not know what to do, they give steroids to you. 
ACE inhibitors or ARBs can help because of the hypertension. Remember, ACE works like magic in three kidney diseases. Number one, diabetic nephropathy. Number two, scleroderma nephropathy. Number three, henoxanlium purpura nephropathy, which is related to IgA nephropathy. Medicosis is spitting wisdom all over the place. Please refer to my video on Hinoxalinum purpura to learn about the HSP mnemonic and the association with IgA nephropathy. Unfortunately, many patients with IgA nephropathy will end up with chronic kidney disease even if they were mildly symptomatic. It's a horrible disease. Here is nephritic syndrome. Pause and review. I have a thousand videos here on YouTube. I also have premium courses on my website, such as my antibiotics course, my renal physiology course, my acid base course, my general pharmacology course, and others. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense.